This little guy just showed up in the lock lab and along with a couple of emails from you guys asking about how to pick these new American padlocks. And I've got to tell you, these aren't new. The, the covers, this is what you're looking at as a protective cover of what is probably an American padlock beneath it. And I say that because I've seen the key. It has American stamped on it there somewhere. Maybe the other side. There we go. American lock. So we're dealing with an American lock inside of a weatherproof American lock cover. It could be any kind of lock, though. But um, the question is, how do you pick through these nasty little spring-loaded doors? So these are very cool covers. Very hard plastic. Along the top, these two gray inserts are silicone to keep a nice, tight seal to keep the weather out. Again, for people still using these things outside for long periods of time. Hard plastic. Uh, and beneath, we got a couple of drain holes. If by some miracle water does make it inside of there, it's got a way to come out. And we got these little spring-loaded doors. And that's really what the question, I think, is about. This is what would give you a lot of problem trying to get in there. I do have the key for this there. It's not really a very challenging bidding, but I can tell you, it looks like there's five in here. These are really challenging locks because they have serrated or serrated spools, every single one of them. So you notice I turned it, it is open, but that silicone's keeping that shackle from popping out. Just give it a little tug, ball bearings, we're not gonna be shimming that bad boy. So let's shove it back in there, lock it back up, and I'll show you how to get around this. It's a cover, it's an aftermarket cover, guys. And you see these little clips? I don't bother trying to fight my way through there. It's just too nasty. Instead, just shove down on this and you can kind of defeat that bottom cover. That's the way these are installed, so that's the way they come back off too. You don't really do any damage, so when you get done, you can pop it back on there. And now we have unrestricted access to the keyway. Beautiful. Um, it definitely is an American lock and it is a model, let's see what, it's a model 10. So I didn't even check that. That means it's probably got a rivet and we're probably not going to be able to gut it, unfortunately. This is the lower end of the American lock. Yeah, there's a rivet down there past that ball bearing. So they put these together permanently in there. You really can't re-key them or re-pin them in any way. All right, doesn't matter. We're going to pick it. Let's pick it. I'm going to use this guy, the 1.2 millimeter. And again, I, I know I pick these guys all the time. Give you a couple tips for those of you who missed some of the earlier videos. Um, because they're full of serrated pins, you got to keep super light tension. Um, I'm going to use my rat yoke. Uh, because it's a known keyway, I know there's no gremlins in there that's going to break it, so I'm going to take a risk with this little guy. The way I usually do it, I slide it all the way to the rear and then apply very, very light tension on the tensioner. And then what we're trying to find, and then just start feeling the pins. I'm trying to find a single binder. That's the tension level that I want. So, and if I don't find any the per first time through, just like that, I apply a little more and pin three is now binding. This is where it gets a little bit tricky though, because what you want to do, because they're serrated, there's multiple clicks on each of the pins. Give it a single click and stop. Then check the other pins and see if any of the others are binding. And if they are not, as in this case, go back to that pin and give them another click. And then check the other pins again. And keep doing that until one of the other pins binds. And there it is, pin five is binding now. So four is done. There's a click on five. That was three. And just keep looking around and give it a single click. As long as another pin binds, that tells you the one you were just working on is picked. I'm on pin one now. Single click. If you over tension it, you're gonna blow it. Those, those sharp edges, that serrated pin, are just gonna dig into the side of that soft lock body and it's gonna bind up and you're gonna lose it. So just keep applying this very, very light tension and just keep finding those. It's like picking a combination lock. That's the analogy I would like to use. Okay, that was pin three again. He had fallen back down. And there we go. You notice it really gave. So now we either have a serrated spool or we have an open. At that point, try not to lose it because they are spring-loaded. Let's find out. Okay, it is open. So I was going to say if it, it gets partway and stops, that tells you you're on a, on a serrated spool. Maintain your tension and then just pick it like a normal spool. It will give you counter-rotation. This one didn't have it, so we have an open. And got to pull on the shackle to get that baby open. All right, unfortunately, it's not guttable, but I think you figured out most all Americans have serrateds and serrated spools. 
These are excellent, excellent, very inexpensive training locks. If you want to learn how to pick serrated pins, this would be the lock of choice. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe, stay legal. And for those of you who wanted to know about these covers, well, guys, that is how you pick them, and that's how you, well, that's how we're going to put it right back together. Good as new. Thanks, guys.